What's up, ladies and gents? This is KSIG Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're going to have an exotic review of the Dragon's Breath. A lot of you are real excited to find out about this rocket launcher with a nice smiling face on the side of it. So let's see if it happens to live up to expectations. First off, it's solar. So that's putting it in comparison against the Galahorn from the start, and that is difficult, difficult test. I'm only taking it up to its special perk because everything after is simply damage upgrades. You'll have an idea of what the launcher can do by the time you have the special perk, and everything else just means it'll be slightly stronger. What I ended up doing is specking down into Javelin for the velocity, but for right now, I'm going to show you what the rocket launcher fires like normally. And you can see there is barely any velocity up to speak of, and the rocket launcher does fire extremely slow. That's going to take a while to get to your target. So yeah, velocity it is. I'm going to put the perks back into Javelin and Linear Compensator. And you can see that we get a big boost to velocity this time. Because a rocket launcher is not any good if the rocket can't go all explodey on the target. And whenever we aim this time, yeah, definitely much faster. But yeah, a faster rocket on its own isn't something super impressive. The very first perk you get though is Tripod, and that's actually pretty nice for a rocket launcher because it lets you hold three rockets to start, which means less reloading, which is always a good thing in my opinion. But the big thing everybody wants to know about is Pyromancer. You want to know what does this thing do? And I probably should have been swapped over to Sunsinger to begin with, but... I guess we'll just have to wait for that. Anyway, I'm just going to fire the rocket here down the hallway. And you see it essentially creates um, the Warlock's Grenade that chills and does damage. Which, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of disappointing. And I was hoping for more. I was hoping for a bigger radius. Just something else. It's just not what I was really expecting from it. And here I'm going to end up throwing out my Warlock Grenade, just to give you a comparison, that they're pretty much the same. Here we go. So there's that. It takes up, you know, pretty decent size in the hallway, and the Rocket Launcher takes up, you know, roughly the same amount of space. It, there's really not much of a difference. So basically this Rocket Launcher is firing off the Warlock's Sun Grenades. Is that something that you would want for your one exotic weapon? I'm not sure that that's really what I would want. I think I would rather probably roll with the Icebreaker if time's tough and a legendary rocket launcher. Or the Galahorn, simply, if you want an exotic rocket launcher. Just want to show you, though, it still can obviously take care of mobs of enemies. But, you know, that grenade isn't... Well, you'll see right here. Basically, what I'm going to do is fire a rocket down towards the ground that doesn't kill all the enemies and watch what happens. So that Vandal that's back there, he's not going to run into the grenade and take any more damage, just like they avoid any type of vortex grenades. So unless you're hitting these enemies with direct shots and sticking them in place, you're really not getting anything from Pyromancer. Just wanted to show here about what the blast radius is, which you can kind of see takes up the width of that uh, fallen ship. So I thought, okay, so you can't hit small enemies and give them any extra damage with the Pyromancer. What can you hit that this weapon might be great on? You certainly couldn't shoot this at a wizard or a warlock. They would just laugh and run away. Pretty much the only enemy that could sit around and take extra damage from Pyromancer is the Fallen Walkers. Even the big enemies, like Atheon or Fogoth or Crota, those guys book it all over the place. As soon as they start getting burned, they're going to run away, or they're not going to walk into the burn. So Fallen Walker seems to be about the only enemy that's dumb enough to sit there and get burned to death. But who knows, maybe I'm missing something. So if you happen to see something that I'm completely overlooking, let me know in the comments below. Right now I'm thinking Dragon's Breath is going straight to the bank, because I just don't have a use for this right now. Anyway guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, smack that like button for me. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, it really helps out, and will keep you updated as I post daily Destiny content. So good luck with all your drops, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Later.